So, unfortunately, I'm taking baby back to the SPCA today. Reason being is because, well, the picture that I got of him was a Maltese. I was told that I was getting a toy Maltese and that um, he was one years old. No problem, cool. Fits into my daily life. Small toy dog. Well, the day of me going to pick up baby, I get a phone call around 10:30, 11 o'clock, telling me that um, they noticed that this dog is not one years old. He's eight years old. Okay, cool. He's eight years old. He's still a small dog. Well. He has some teeth issues, so we have to take out two teeth. Okay, cool, no problem. Are you still interested? Yes, of course. So I go and pick him up. There's two wrongs to this story, and I am one of them. But I go pick him up, and they're carrying him out. Well, this is not a toy dog. This is a multi poop. So they did not tell me that he was a multi poo I mean, you called me to alert me about the age and the teeth and all this jazz in his ass, but you conveniently left out that this isn't the dog that we said that you were getting. So I called today and to speak with a um, representative, which she then emailed her supervisor. Her supervisor called me back. I explained the whole situation. Okay, I went out and bought kennel. I went out and bought gate. I went out and bought toys. I've, I've done everything to prepare. I've even thrown out my dinette table to prepare for me to have a small, tiny toy dog in the house. And I was lied to. Well, unfortunately, I'm sorry, but we have no pickups today. We can't, we can't drop off today. It's the only day you can drop it off is on Thursday. I said, so you don't apologize for the lie that was told to me or anything? No, I don't. Like I said, unfortunately, we can't, um, we can't drop him off today, but you can drop him off on Thursday. But that doesn't fit into my schedule. I work on Thursday. So I can't drop him off. Look how cute. He is adorable. This dog is so sweet. But he's just not the dog that they told me that I was getting. And he doesn't fit. Everything that I bought is for a small dog. And I wasted money doing so. But anywho, back to her. So she was just, you know, adamant on telling me that, no, you can't drop the dog off. And this is that another. So, in other words, only you just want to return the dog, huh? After me telling her the whole bit, I just explained. So, yeah, I do want to drop the dog off. So, uh, like I said, the only schedule we have for you is on Thursday. Well, no, that's your schedule. Mine is today. I'll be there. So, you know, like I said, if on my part, I should have spoken up when. When I when, the, when they brought him to the car, I should have spoken up and said, hey, this dog is not the dog that it's in the picture. This is not a uh, Maltese, this is a multiple, it's a mix. And you failed to mention that. Because it had been, if they had told me this was a Maltese, I would have said, no, that doesn't fit. Because I need a small dog. Sit down. I need a small dog. Oh, I bought this. Because they chopped off his man stuff and they didn't give him anything to keep him from licking or anything on him so I mean this just I just was not satisfied with the whole adoption process it was horrible I mean the front desk they were nice and nice lady who showed me the dog and all that stuff online that was a very nice lady and they were all sweet but the people that I'm dealing with now Becky and them no. She like, girl, get off my damn phone. That's your problem. And it's really not fair. I should have actually not taken the dog home. 
basically. As you can see, his coat is clean. Everything is clean. When I got him, he was filthy, dirty. He couldn't sit right here because he was so dirty. And he smelled so bad. And I called them the same day to tell them that. And what they told me was, we don't bathe the dogs. And not ever have I gotten a dog from the SPCA that was not clean. I mean, before they did the surgery, they didn't even clean this dog, nothing. So that was wrong. I felt like I was done wrong. And you know, that's just wrong. But anyway, that's my story. I guess I won't have a puppy and he's a sweet puppy too. But I did get him at the SPCA on Westmoreland. 18, it's either 18, 18 or 81, 81. Westmoreland. That's where I got it. So before you decide to get a dog online from the SPCA, uh, think about that because you might not get what you want. And like I did, you know, and if you do, if that does happen to you, then don't do like me and wait till the last minute to speak up because that could be an issue like it is right now with me. But, you know, I just felt like the manager or the supervisor could have spoken better. She could have been a little bit more, you know, understanding and saying, well, my staff made the mistake, so let me fix it. And she didn't do that. So that's another reason why I, this isn't sitting well with me because I'm not that type of person. Good luck, dog hunting. I'm out the game. I've learned my lesson.